Hello everybody, my name is Anatoly and today we're watching South Park, Chiroki, Hair, Tampons. Let's see how this goes. Good morning, children. Mr. Garrison is away today. I am your substitute teacher, Mr. Wiley. This is the guy from the Chef Goes Nanners episode, right? Let me quickly connect the dots in my head. So because Garrison got detained in Nambla, now we have Mr. Wyland as a substitute teacher. You know, sometimes it does make sense to watch shit in order. <laughs> substitute teacher. Now, I understand that some students in this class like to mess with substitute teachers. But if we all behave and respect each other, I'm sure we can make Don't this screw a fun me. And productive day. Let's start with roll call. Let's see. Mm, Eric Cartman. Here. <laughs> we also used to do this. All right. And how about Stan Marsh? It's not that funny, you guys. Jesus. Okay. It isn't Where really, is but. Kenny McCormick. Here. <laughs> I remember doing this. Whoa! Hey, what the hell was that? Oh, oh, dude, you know when you're laughing so hard that the milk comes out your nose? Oh, man. What? He wasn't drinking milk. How can we physically explain that? Maybe Cartman just has a deposit of milk in his brain or something. That would explain a lot, actually. Dude, you weren't drinking any milk. Huh? You have to be drinking milk for that to happen. Not with me, man. All right, look, let me <laughs> skip roll call. Here's what we're going to do today. I've been told that one of your classmates has been ill for several days. Kyle Bruflovsky? He's faking. Kyle. Well, I've been told that in Mr. Garrison's absence, our activity for the day is to make a get well card for Kyle. So I've got this large piece of poster board, and we're all going to come up and use glitter and glue to decorate it. I actually prefer macaroni pictures and popcorn necklaces for Moses. Why the hell would you do that to Kyle when you can directly go to the boss, Moses? I desire macaroni pictures and popcorn necklaces. <laughs> Kenny, you come and decorate the get well car too. But I don't want Kyle to get well. I hate Kyle. I don't care. Get down here and do it. Hey, watch it. Hey, what are you doing? No! Now that's a good luck car. Is it the first time they bully butters? Let's get the picture of Cartman ejaculating milk out of his nostrils out of our heads for a second. I think this is actually the first time that butters gets treated like Pip, but we haven't seen him get grounded yet. Mr. Garrison, after a very careful review, so he wasn't detained. I believe that you should take a hiatus from. What, what kind of hiatus? The guy tried to fucking kid. I guess some Nambla senator decided to have a say in this one. What? Frankly, your conduct has been somewhat disconcerting. Did you know that not one of your students knew who Sam Adams was? Well, who cares about a guy that makes beer? Jesus Christ, I've heard of this history. <laughs> Frankly, Mr. Makes Garrison, beer. it isn't even your educational record that we're most concerned about. It's your somewhat substantial police record. Pff, oh, whatever. Mr. Garrison, last week's charges of attempting to solicit sex from a minor... That was not me. That was Mr. Hyatt. All we're saying is perhaps you should take a little hiatus from teaching until this little... Perhaps. Child... Uh, maybe. What kind of language is that when you're talking to a sexual offender? I'm sorry for not being inclusive enough. Should I call him perhaps minor attracted person? What do you think? The molestation thing dies down a bit. Gentlemen, teaching is all I know. It is the air that I breathe. We're sorry, Mr. Garrison. We have no choice. Very well. I guess I'm not a teacher anymore. Thank God. I suppose you'll be wanting my badge and gun. <laughs> Mr. Garrison, most teachers do not carry a gun. <laughs> oh, so I can keep it then? <laughs> Wasn't that the officer <laughs> thing? Kyle, Stan and his mother came over to visit you. Uh, Hello, sweetie. Einstein. Dude, you can stop faking now. We got a substitute teacher. <laughs> Kyle? They say it's his kidneys. Kyle always has been a diabetic, and lately his kidneys have just been shutting down. Well, the kids at school made you a card, He's a Kyle. diabetic? Look. What? <laughs> so now there's basically two restrictions on his diet. Kosher and sugar-free. You know how they say, no cake for the impurity. Well, I don't wanna. Butters, go on. Well, all right then. We're so sorry you're not feeling well. We hope you're better soon. So we're bringing you some sunshine by um, singing you this tune. Everybody misses you, and though we hate to cause a fuss, We'd like to say, get well soon, and please don't die on us. <laughs> and the mother. Yeah, well, and the mother's just allowing him to be bullied like that. I don't know. 
I don't know what to do, Sharon. They want to have him go into surgery, but that's so dangerous. Sheila, have you tried holistic natural medicines? They no. work wonders. I read all about it in People. Really? No. First of all, holistic methods. Second of all, people. Well, if you want to cosplay John Travolta, then please. There's a brand new shop in town that sells holistic medicines and all natural foods. It's run by this fascinating woman named Miss Information. Oh, wow. Well, they want misinformation. She must know something. Please take Kyle down there and see what That's she has a good to one. say. Okay, I'll get our coats. <laughs> misinformation. Can I go now? I don't know what I'm going to do, Maggie. Teaching is all I know. Okay, well, maybe you need to view this as a chance to do something you've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to write a novel. Well, there you go, okay? But I never know what to write about. Well, that's easy. Write about what you know. Write about what you love. What do you love most? The luring kids? Besides teaching? Yes. Poontang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut the hell up, Garrison. The closet is made out of pure glass. This guy only had 50% sex with the woman when he f Cartman's mom. But I don't think that really counts. That's what we call by default in South Park. I'm a womanizer sometimes, I know, but I just think that... Taking a woman home and getting some hot poon is about the greatest thing in the world. Well, that settles it, Mr. Garrison. What you need to do is go write a great romance novel. Yes, that's it. Oh, shit, Garrison. I am Garrison. going to write the great American romance novel. You see, the reasons our bodies fail is because of toxins. Toxins? All the horrible food we eat, the sodas and meats are filled with toxins. And the only way for us to get better is to flush those toxins out of our system. Western medicine is so quick to cut and carve up. But all your son needs is a toxin-flushing <sighs> diet of lemon juice and cayenne pepper. Wow, that's amazing, misinformation. You want to kill the Jewish boy, don't you? You know, a lot of times you just tell yourself, no way there is somebody in this whole universe that believes in this bullshit. But then you meet a woman and she's like, hey, what's your horoscope? Sign. You hear that, Kyle? You don't need surgery after all. <coughs> Excuse me, but what do these toxins look like? What? Have you ever actually seen a toxin? Don't be a smart Thank you, Stanley. Kyle. Mrs. Boflowski, we'd like to give your son herbs that focus on the kidney. I have these excellent herbs from local Native Americans. Ooh, Native Americans. Now they know how to heal the body spiritually. <laughs> With the spirit of the bear? I think we saw the healing abilities of the Native Americans. May the spirit of the buffalo heal your shattered testicle. Sprite and soup. That's what you need. When Reginald kissed Diana's lips, her knees went weak. Slowly, he pulled her top down, exposing her soft, unyielding breasts. Oh yeah, now this is getting good. Just Cut the sight of those breasts made Reginald's penis very hard. His penis was of considerable size, and now beads of sweat ran slowly down his <laughs> penis, making it glisten like a strong swimmer fresh from out of the pool. <laughs> it was a fantastic That's penis that seemed as strong as a horse's leg, yet as delicate as a flower wrapped in silk. What a grand, grand penis. <laughs> Diana's nipples. So he can be descriptive, but only about a certain body part. But I do understand where this dick infatuation comes from. From the black dildo that's penetrating his asshole right now. Diana's nipples. Oh, writer's block, writer's block. <laughs> Crap, I'm stuck. Oh well, maybe that's enough writing for tonight, Mr. Hat. He needs some uh, Enrique Iglesias. Oh my, he looks terrible. Yes, poor little dear. Good morning, everyone. Oh, thanks for coming, misinformation. Kyle seems to be getting worse. Misinformation. Uh, oh, I don't agree. He seems uh, much better. Yeah, yeah. Well, let, let, let me also do a procedure. Let me quickly measure your chakra levels. <laughs> yeah. You have AIDS. Yes, his chi is flowing much nicer than yesterday, and his aura is lighter. Oh, that's great news. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, that's good. Those are the toxins flushing out of his system. Ooh. Those aren't toxins. That's the bean with bacon soup he ate. Yeah. Half Stanley, what did I say about being Shut a the hell up, Sharon. Don't be a smartass. Now, don't be fooled. As Kyle's body sheds itself more and more of all the toxins, he will appear to be getting worse. But Wasn't she able to specify what the toxins were exactly, the consistency of the substance, the physicality of it? You know what's specifically missing there? A cross. Oh, wow. Well, I am wow, so that, that, that puke looked fantastic. I had known sooner. I had known. Oh, yes, that's, that's right. right. Oh my god, the guy literally vomited. Second to go. Right, send him in. Oh, Stanley. Hi, doctor. What can I do for you? Well, it's my friend, Kyle. I think he's really, really sick. He is really, really sick, Stanley. I was seeing him last week when he first got ill, but unfortunately his mother's decided to 
put all her trust into holistic medicine. But I don't think it's working. All right, Stanley, I'm going to be very honest with you. Your little friend Kyle needs a kidney transplant, or it is very possible that he will die. God damn it. This is the music from the episode when Kenny died. I don't think even Cartman wants to see Kyle die. That would leave a huge ass existential void inside of that big bone guy. But once again, the kids being the adults in South Park. But Kyle's my best friend in the whole world. Friend. I know this is a lot to lay on someone your age, but the rest of the town is so gung-ho on new age medicine that I have nowhere else to turn. I'll give Kyle my kidney, even if it hurts a whole lot, I don't care. That's very brave, Stan, but I've already checked my records and you and Kyle aren't a match for kidneys. In fact, there's only one person in South Park with the same blood type as Kyle. I think I know who it is. Screw you guys, I'm not giving you my liver. Who? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Coming in for attack, Captain. Beep, 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 beep. Give me the space cruiser, Kenny. Well, Kenny, you have to give me the sub space cruiser so I can destroy the game. You don't crash the ship. Ha ha ha. I broke your space cruiser, Kenny. Ha 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 ha. Too hard again. Yeah. That is disturbing and hilarious at the same time. In this case, you could potentially milk Cartman on an industrial scale. Cartman's milk, I don't think that beats Butter's goo, but still. Okay, man. And don't get too close to Kyle. He looks like he might have the AIDS. Cartman, a very serious question. Well, he's gonna have the AIDS, but not, not in this season. If there's an expert on AIDS, it's Cartman's mom. She knows all the variations of that peculiar virus. I can see him getting worse right before my eyes. There might be a way that you can save his life. Uh-huh. What Kyle really needs is a new kidney. Oh, I think I see where this is going. Uh, his mom is trying all this Eastern medicine new age bullcrap on him, but it's obviously not Eastern. working. Dan, why don't you just ask the question? All right. Will you donate one of your kidneys to Kyle? <laughs> you only need one, fat <laughs> boy. <laughs> one of your friends is going to die. Don't you see how serious this is? <laughs> well, perhaps I could see my way to giving up a kidney for a price. Oh, my God. How much? I don't know. How much is your life worth to you, Kyle? Carmen, you are so going to hell when you die. Yes, well, until then. I need about 10 million dollars. <laughs> Does he want 10 Cartman lands? Does he want to buy himself Moldova and still have 9 million dollars? What the hell would you do with 10 million dollars, fat ass? What I intend to do with the money is not an issue, is it? I suggest you start looking for that money quickly. Kyle doesn't seem to have much time. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Oh, yeah. Quick, Captain, we must destroy the engine on Cluster 5. Give me the space cruiser. Candy, at least you. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, free range aspirin. All natural sound foam. Oh, look, everyone. These are our two resident Native Americans, Chief Running Pinto and Carlos Ramirez. Oh, oh Dr. Dr. Ramirez. Ramirez. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Ramirez. Yes, Dr. Ramirez from the tribe of Chupa Mis Huevos. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, here. Uh, this is a uh, dream catcher. Oh, a dream catcher. I'll buy one. Oh, Me too. Yeah, yeah, these here are Cherokee hair tampons. They're like tampons made with all natural hair from the Cherokee people. Ooh. A tampon made from Cherokee hair. Now that sounds natural. Native Americans are more in tune with the earth than we are. Oh, yeah. We love the earth, man. Oh, yeah. The earth is great. Mrs. Broflovsky's son is a little sick. Perhaps she could bring him in tomorrow and you could give him some spiritual healing. Well, if it stops the blood flow, then it stops the blood flow. I don't think that in any shape or form I'm able to question the peculiar ways of female hygiene. Eh? We'll give him like a, a brain enema or something. <laughs> Wonderful! Why don't you follow me over to the cash register and I'll take a deposit. Yeah, cash Do you register. have any more stuff to sell? We want to buy more stuff. Yes, much, much more stuff. Sure, uh, we just got to go back to our truck. I, I mean our horses and grab some <laughs> more junk. Come on. Goodbye, Native Americans. The spirit of money is with damn you. It. Oh, yeah, you too and junk. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, hi, Stanley. Look, I'm buying you some more all-natural toothpaste. You mean the stuff that tastes like ass and doesn't fight cavities? That's right. Look, um, I know that you all think the earth and its natural healing powers can cure Kyle, but the doctor at the hospital told me it can't. Well, of course the doctor told you that because he wants to make money. Holistic yeah. medicine is about nature. $233. <laughs> all of those evil corporations have waged a war on the ways of God. Of course it's not about money. It's about dying of a vaginal infection. Everything to be fine, Stan. We're bringing Kyle in tomorrow to see the Native Americans mm. personally. Isn't it possible that these Indians don't know what they're talking about? You watch your mouth, Stanley. The Native Americans were raped of their land and resources by white people like us. And that has something to do with their medicine because... Enough, Stanley! <laughs>
Nobody wants to listen, <sighs> can he? I don't know what else to do. I mean, he could die, can he? And that means we'd never see him again. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe I've always taken friends for granted. Like they'd always be there. If a friend died, I don't know what I'd do. Yeah. Well, I'm not just gonna stand here and watch my friend die. <laughs> look, look at the candy. Look at Kenny. He's like, Stan, you killed me with a broomstick a week ago. But this is the first season that Kenny really starts thinking about the concept of him dying. Because till now, he wasn't questioning it. He was just accepting his faith. Go round up all the kids in town who want to help Kyle. Round them up and meet me at the bus stop at 7.30. Kyle's gonna live. Diana had never slept with another woman before. But it was an erotic this thought she often fantasized about. Oh, yeah, Mr. Hat. Hot lesbo scene coming up. And as Rebecca's naked body lay before her, Diana couldn't help but feel aroused. Go on, Rebecca said softly. Touch me. Diana leaned down slowly and brushed Rebecca's bare stomach with her fingertips. It felt good, like a penis. A soft but sturdy <laughs> penis that felt warm to the touch. In Rebecca's mind, she suddenly felt like she was surrounded by penises. They were all around her, flopping all around and slapping her face. It was as God. if she were in a red one. This guy's very of... talented, actually. I'm not talking about seducing kids. I have never in my life seen somebody be so ardently descriptive about penises. That is actually a pretty respectable trait. They presented themselves tall and mighty all around her with... <sighs> Mr. Hat, what the hell are you doing? Oh, Mr. Hat. Okay, Garrison Master Benny. We've seen that already. We're gonna go take Cartman's kidney. <laughs> Mom, do you ever have those heavy floaties? Oh, absolutely, sweetheart. Everybody does. Mom, Mom, remember the movie The Shining where the elevator doors are opening up oh, and all the... honey, what you need is a more absorbent tampon. Like what? Well, what's the most absorbent thing in the world? <laughs> Joe Biden? Cherokee hair, I guess. But what does that have to do with me? Because now there's new all-natural Cherokee no. hair tampons. <laughs> A cotton tampon can only hold so much liquid. Other tampons... Wait until you're gonna see the native pubic pads. It stops the blood flow forever. But not gonna lie, I have missed live action scenes in South Park. But Cherokee hair has been known for ages to be strong and powerful. Each tampon is hand woven from over 200 strands of Cherokee hair and then bound together by these decorative native beads. You were right, Mom. All natural Cherokee hair tampons really did the trick. And when you're done using them, they make a great toy for Jesse. Go get it, boy. No! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, I renounce my status as a human being. You know what's actually very respectable? The fact that the women accepted to play in this. I just pictured Native Americans menstruating in my head. It's kind of nice, actually. Let the wonders and the mysteries of our people, like, change the way you think about tampons. I'll let it. It, it definitely changed my way I think about yeah. tampons. Hippies out around me. Uh, <laughs> mommy, hippies. Kill them, kill them, Carmen. In, in the in GTA okay, Five, of course. Okay. Ah, uh, the grandma, the late go grandma, of Carmen. Kenny, out of him. Kenny, you stay here and guard his mom's door. Wait! Is... <laughs> I didn't notice that they were carrying a wood saw. With that one, you're gonna extract every single organ of Carmen's if you're able to find them hidden in the fat, of course. Shh, if she hears him screaming or comes out or anything, just stall her. All right? Okay. Time out. All right, butters, let's go. Give me whispering. Uh oh, Carmen's pig. pig. <laughs> Good pig. Good pig. Good pig. Shh, it's okay. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Oh no. Oh well, we're busted. Shut up, Flavie! <laughs> so that happens regularly in the in the oh, Carmen household. Hey, bitch. Everywhere. They want to save the earth, but all they do is smoke pot and smell bad. Ladies and gentlemen, write that down. That is the manifest of this channel. <laughs> okay, let's see. Looks like if we cut here and here. I hope it's not too bloody. I'm wearing my favorite pants. Dang right. Well, well, here goes nothing. Help me pull his pajamas up. Oh, <laughs> Give me blocker two thousand. Oh, standing butters, <laughs> trying to take my kidney, are you? You suck, Carmen. Maybe so, but at least I was smart enough to wear a kidney blocker two thousand. God damn it! Don't you care that Kyle's gonna die? I do. I do care. Look how much. Look, 
Look how much I care. Is this also perhaps a traditional Native American product? Because he surely did not get it from his mother. First and foremost, Mr. Garrison, I would like to thank you for choosing Hurricane Romance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you read the book? Uh, yes, Mr. Garrison, we did read your book. Well, what did you think? Well, uh, frankly, Mr. Garrison, we don't know if the Hurricane Romance label is appropriate for you. Oh, why not? Mr. Garrison, are you aware that the word penis occurs 6,083 times in your novel? Well, I'm sure there's lots of naughty words. It is a romance novel. That is 12 A4 pages of the word penis exclusively. How is it different from Game of Thrones then? No, this is what we in the book publishing business like to call gay. <laughs> really, really gay. What the, the gay hell science are you talking of Nietzsche? about? It's just that the focus really seems to be on the male organs. Well, I thought it was mostly women that read these things. It is. Well, women want to read about dang-dongs. You think women care about the details of female anatomy? Hell no! Women want to read about big, powerful <laughs> schlongs. What? Look, I've Have seen women read these things. They skim along, skim along until they get to the part about the penis. That's what they want, so that's what I'm giving them. Hmm. There's nothing more I can do, Kenny. I've tried everything to save Kyle. Holistic medicine is going to kill my friend. You don't know who to call all, My friend is going to die. You, you don't but fucking care when I die. That's what he said, I think. The existence of Kenny is pretty paradoxical when you think about it. Because he is mortal and non-mortal at the same time. Even if he dies for good, Santa and Jesus are eventually going to bring him back on Christmas. He's going to die and there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, God. Rift lay down. <laughs> I've had enough of it. Screw it. Look out! No! I'll never see Kyle again. When Kenny said, I really felt that. That is the moral story that you should extract from this reaction of mine. If you think about Kenny dying, he's gonna die. Four dozen Cherokee hair tampons, please. No problem, man. Pay me his information up front. Hi, uh, I have a little bit of pain in my balls whenever I watch VH1. Oh, here, try this, man. Uh, this is uh, all natural ball juice. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I feel better already. <laughs> and next, we have Mrs. Drink Kropowski's piss. son. <sighs> okay, here he is. Uh, hey, man, that kid looks really sick. Yes, he really needs his toxins flushed again. No, I mean, he looks really sick, man. You should take him to, like, a doctor. Huh? But you're more in touch with the Earth. Look, being in touch with the Earth has nothing to do with dying, man. It's okay. We trust that you know what you're doing. Even the hippie Native American has some remorse. I want to see misinformation fight a uh, Twitter fact checker. No, man. That kid needs a doctor. And besides, we're not actually Native Americans. I mean, I'm, I'm more like a, a Mexican. What? what? <laughs> yeah, a Mexican. Oh, oh, oh my god! He cannot treat you a Mexican guy? How dare you deceive us like that? Hey, we never said we we're Native Americans, man. Misinformation said that. Yeah, she said nobody would buy anything from Mexicans. Uh, toxins are your Please enemies. Do the worst Kill things. Her. Yes, yes, yes. In GTA 5. So now can we take Kyle to the hospital? Yes, of course, but we don't have a kidney donor. That's all right. If you'll all help, I think I have a plan. I want to see a certain French Revolution practice being performed on misinformation. But if we're not able to get that, at least a bonfire, a nice bonfire in the middle of the city. <laughs> that son of a bitch! They did it? Okay, asshole, give me back my kidney! Dude, please, Kyle needs it. It's mine, not yours, mine! Give it back right now or there's gonna be hell to pay! Right, all right, here. What? Thank you. What the hell is this? Give me my kidney back and he just pulls it out of his pocket. I think this is a bait plan to get Cartman's actual kidney. And you better hope to God it still works just like it did before. Dr. Eric Cartman is here. Go for it. Why, hello there, Eric. <laughs> you see that? That's me. My <laughs> uncle first stand took my kidney and I need it put back in. Please. Oh, I see. That's me. Are you sure that now that it's already out, you don't want to just let your friend Kyle have it? No, because it doesn't belong to Kyle. It belongs to me. It's me. Well, all right, then. We'll get you prepped for <laughs> surgery if you'll just sign this release. No. Thank you. Well, Car uh, Kyle is going to lay out, so. How are you feeling, Bobby? Better, thanks. You look a lot better. Yeah, it looks like Western medicine really did the trick. Hey, Western thanks for going man. through all that to save my life, Stan. Dude, you're my best friend. I don't want you to die until I do. Yeah, hey man, we're glad you're getting better too. As usual, nobody gives a shit about Caddy anymore. Am I really the only one who still has some compassion for that boy? Hey, wh what's going on? Kyle 
smile's all better, Cartman, thanks to you. Huh? It was all a trick. Your mama did the kidney blocker, and then we put ketchup in your bed so you'd think we took your kidney. Yes, but it was all just a trick to get you to come in and sign this release. Isn't that funny, sweetie? Ah! <laughs> I'm so pissed off! Oh, here's everybody. I don't know how to feel about Where's it. Well, Kyle Lynn. Boys, I have an announcement to make. I'm not going to be your teacher anymore. I've become a best-selling author. And, Kyle, I want you to have a signed copy as a gift. Valley of penises? Thanks. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Who was the author on that one? By Ethan F. Garrison? His name is Ethan? I don't think I ever heard him being called Ethan. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm gonna kill you guys. Careful, Carmen, you might pop your stitches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, you got the crappy kidney. That, 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 was a, that, that was a kidney issue. Now I get it. Now I absolutely get it. But now a serious question for you, ladies and gentlemen. What do you prefer? Penis Valley or Silicon Valley? You have five seconds. As I've mentioned before, this is actually one of the first episodes where Kenny starts questioning the concept of his dad. He starts acknowledging the fact that he's dying and dying constantly. This is the point where the South Park mythos, the South Park lore deepens a little bit. Because they start giving us explanations about things that were pretty casual at the beginning. They were just a joke, but now they, they evolve, they have ramifications, and they have some certain explanations. Imagine being Kenny's mother, having to give birth every now and then. Also South Park trashing all of those uh, alternative Eastern methods of healing. All of those empirically non-proven methods. You might as well just use the horoscope to heal your sore butthole. One more thing that I have noticed is the sudden spike in Cartman's hatred for Kyle. I don't think his hatred was so intense till now. So this only means one thing. We're gonna get nice Jew jokes soon enough. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching. This would be like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. Screw you guys. Am I gay? Yeah. That is the moral story that you should ex 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 <laughs> connecting to Earth.